hospital waiting for my son to be born I was searching around online and browsing for things that interest me of course and this caught my eye it came as a kit and if you've watched other videos on these you'll be able to see that I put this together improperly uh, but it does work and I'm going to explain a few of the issues I had as we go along I've got a build montage and I'll pause at certain parts and tell you what I've done wrong uh, the first thing I'm going to mention is that these lights are facing out of the PC board that's not supposed to be that way I didn't get any instructions with this uh, it just came basically in a bare bones kit and so I was winging it as I went but these lights are supposed to face out away from the uh, board itself but by the time I realized that it was too late so this is what we have and as you can see there are several components on it um, I ran into a few issues with polarity on the switch mainly the switch right here you can see that it is currently in the up position which is supposed to be off but if this was plugged in it would be on so the polarity of the switch is, is wrong but there's no way to really know that because there's no uh, markings on the switch itself um, I also had issues with polarity on the capacitors and then another problem was that none of the resistors were marked I mean they have the lines on them that resistors commonly do if you can see that but you know I don't know those by heart so I had to look it up and then the spaces for the resistors a few of them would say 10k so it's easy to match up the 10k on resistors for that but then the others I just kind of filled in the blanks with the other resistors that I had so anyway it's enough rambling here's the build montage and I'll pause whenever I need to say something and then at the end we'll light it up and see what it looks like All right, so now that you've seen what all I went through putting this thing together, I'll show you that it takes three AA batteries, and that's just bolted onto the bottom. It works as a nice little base for it. Um, I'm actually gonna run it off of one of my battery packs that I use for just about everything because it also has an input here on the back side for a DC five volt which will work perfectly with the battery pack. Alright. Alright, so now it's plugged in. Now I'll just turn the switch on. Pretty nifty little gadget. It took me a total of 1.5 hours to put this together. 
Um, I watched a few YouTube videos of other people doing this, and that seems to be a common time frame, I guess. Yeah. It is a lot of work soldering all these parts together. But I'm happy with how it came out, and it's a cool little thing to throw on the, uh, the side table in the living room or something. I think I paid about $4 for it total, so... Well, that's that. So subscribe for more projects, and as always, thanks for watching.